Going on vacation can really mess up your kids' sleep habits. So many families come to me with kids who used to be good sleepers, and then they went on vacation and started some bad sleep habits that have been nearly impossible to get rid of. Let's prevent that from happening to you with today's seven vacation sleep tips for toddlers. You've probably heard the joke that traveling with your kids is really called a trip and not a vacation because it kind of feels like work. And as a mom of two, I tend to agree with this, but there is one thing that I can always count on when I travel with my kids, and it's that they're going to go to bed. They're going to sleep through the night. So I know that in the evening, my husband and I are going to have a couple hours of kid-free time to enjoy ourselves. And I know that we're going to be able to sleep through the night and not be woken up by our kids. And when the whole family is well-rested, we're all just happier. We've got better attitudes. We're more patient. We're more calm. I think great sleep is an important element for a successful family trip. So here are seven things that you can do to ensure great sleep when you travel with your kids. Number one, establish great sleep habits before you leave on your trip. When your child is an awesome sleeper, their sleep schedule can actually be a little bit more flexible than kids who don't have well-established sleep habits. What is an awesome sleeper? That's a child who has a well-defined bedtime routine, a consistent lights out time, and is used to sleeping through the night each and every night. These kids have kind of like sleep muscle memory. So when they go on vacation, if they're sleeping in a different place or they're staying up late, it's still easy for them to fall asleep because they have this muscle memory. So it makes it easier for them to handle these changes in their schedule and stride without becoming overtired disasters. Number two, match their sleep space. Try and make your child's sleep space feel as familiar as possible when you travel. So bring her favorite lovey, bring the sound machine, bring her favorite bedtime books, bring a nightlight, whatever she needs to feel comfortable, and then run through the same bedtime routine when you travel, just like you would at home. So even though y'all are in a different place, sleep will still feel familiar. Number three, keep your sleep spaces separate, even when room sharing. Now, if your child has their own room at home, it'd be great if they could have that when you travel too, but that's not always possible. So if you have to share a room, make sure your child has their own sleep space. Now you might have to use your imagination a little bit if you're gonna be sharing a hotel room with your toddler, but here are some good ideas. You could use a pull-out sofa, You could ask the hotel if they have a cot that they can roll into the room um, that you can use as a separate sleep space. You could even make your child a pallet on the floor using a sleeping bag and some pillows. You could even bring an inflatable pool float that you can use as a little mattress. They also sell inflatable toddler beds that you can travel with. You could use a kid's play tent to make a separate sleep space on the floor. And they also sell kids travel cots that you could purchase. I will link to some good options below this video. If your child's gonna be sleeping like this, try practicing for a night in their room before you leave, just so they have a chance to get used to it. And remember, if you call it camping out or make a big deal about how cool it is, your child is gonna go along with it. Number four, prioritize sleep. Would you leave home right before lunchtime with no plan on how you were gonna feed your toddler lunch? I hope not, because you know when your toddler is hungry, They are not very pleasant to be around. Well, I want you to treat sleep the same way. If you know that your toddler really needs a nap, then plan the day's activities around that nap time or leave them napping at home with a family member. If you know that your child's behavior is so much better when they get a good night's sleep, then plan to put them to bed early so they can get the sleep that they need. When you prioritize your kid's sleep needs, everybody on your family trip will thank you. Number five, talk to your partner. Make a plan with your spouse before you leave about sleep. Where will your child sleep? How will you handle bedtime? What will you do if he wakes up in the middle of the night? Are there any sleep rules that you're willing to bend in order to make the trip go more smoothly? Planning ahead is very smart because arguing with your spouse in the middle of the night while you're trying to get your kid back to sleep and not wake up any other house guests is not fun. So plan ahead for sleep. Number six, avoid starting any bad sleep habits. Now this should probably have been number one on the list, but 
don't start any bad sleep habits when you go on vacation. If your child is used to sleeping independently in their own bed at home, have them sleep independently when you travel too. A week of snuggling in bed with you is going to make getting them back into their own bed when you get home a real headache. Because even one night of co-sleeping or getting a different reaction from you in the middle of the night can quickly reset your child's expectations and become their new normal. And if you end up co-sleeping for a couple days or a couple weeks while you're traveling, you're really just strengthening and strengthening this new habit. And it's going to be that much more difficult to break when you get home. So that's why this tip is so important. Don't start any bad sleep habits when you're traveling. Number seven, get sleep back on track quickly. Now, sleep may not go perfectly when you travel. That's okay. Life happens. But when you get home and your regular life resumes, get your child's sleep habits back on track as quickly as you can. If the sleep routine changed while you were gone or you started some of those bad sleep habits that you really don't wanna bring home with you, talk to your child about it. Tell them, hey, I know that you slept with mommy and daddy when we were at grandma's house, but that was just for our trip. And now we're home, so now you're gonna sleep in your own room again because that's how we sleep when we're at home. If your child is used to their consistent sleep schedule and their great bedtime routine, it really shouldn't take more than a night or two for you to get their sleep habits back on track. This is another reason why having an awesome sleeper before you travel is so important. I hope these vacation sleep tips help you enjoy your family trips even more. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know when my next video comes out.